Hey, what's going on you guys? It's the Flying Dutchman and I am back with some Gods of Olympus gameplay. So it has actually probably been a couple months since I've last played this and there's been a lot added to the game since I have. So today I'm going to actually be starting the Underworld base and something new I kind of want to do is kind of give a few like tips and tricks of what I've learned through the Underworld base so far, like some of the best gods, better attack strategies and all of this and that. So if we click onto it, you can actually see I'm level 7 right now, but I don't have anything built. I only have one god, and he's unupgraded. And this is all I have right now. <laughs> so build the underworld citadel. Uh, yeah, so we'll just go throw this sucker in here real quick. Why not? We'll kind of just go through a few of these things. A second god. So I think what I want to do quickly is just kind of run over all the gods real quick. So Cerberus, in my opinion, is one of the weaker ones. He's pretty good for a certain attack strategy. Charon is pretty good. Persephone should definitely be at least your like third god. You should get her very early on because both of her abilities are just really good. We'll actually go ahead and grab the grow ability right now while we're on it. Hades you start with obviously, he's pretty darn good. Tisiphone and Electo are both really strong. Um, you know, because this one basically just freezes everything and this person, the fireball mixed with grow is just amazing. Let's see, how many do I need? 75,000. We'll also actually grab Electo. Because I think Electo's uh, with this fireball ability is just absolutely amazing with Persephone. And yeah, that's basically, and then uh, Magira is pretty good. I found her to actually be kind of weaker. And in that regard, I really don't think I'm going to get her anytime soon. I haven't really had any experience with Hecate, who they released probably, I don't know, like a couple weeks ago, like two weeks, maybe. I don't actually remember, you know, time is relative nowadays. Okay, so then now that that's all settled, what do you want me to do? Purchase Rot? No. <laughs> What else? Rot is a terrible ability. We got an achievement though. Okay. Oh, I want... Oh, I don't want to build defense right now, bro. I'm trying to attack. Come on. <laughs> All right. Have it your way. Build just a couple... Couple things here. Uh, yeah, we actually have a decent amount of those resources somehow. I think we just need to slide this down a tiny bit. Uh, no, I don't actually want any of the, the archers. The archers aren't that good, I don't think. We'll just kind of throw, like, four of these suckers out. Boom. Is that good for the defense? Is that good enough? Okay, cool. Let's just go ahead and get right into a battle here. I've been talking for a little while. So let's see how this selection of gods is going to work. Because none of them are really... So basically, all you want to do is you want to grow, and you want to fireball. Bang. That's it. <laughs> and then, you know, we, we have a little more resources I probably should have used. And Persephone can also heal your gods, which is really amazing, actually. This ability actually charges faster for some reason than the grow does. I would almost never use the grow ability without, or use the fireball ability without grow. I'm not going to bother getting rot, and I'm not going to bother upgrading that sword ability because they're just not as good. You want to focus your resources into what's actually going to be good. I think what I'm going to do here is actually just heal real quick. Help out Electo a little bit. So you can see Electo's kind of like a tank. They're a mid-health. I think the best tank is Charon. Uh, and he can also give you armor. So he's definitely good to get pretty early on. The one, you know, the one downside to this, uh, to this base, in my opinion, is the fact that you can only do normal battles. It's, uh, it's a little tough. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so first things first, let's just start, let's just start getting stuff, uh, not level 70, boy, do you think I'm rich? We'll do that, we'll go ahead and we'll get this up to, not 70, my fingers are too fat. I'm just trying to get it to 5, because that's all I can afford. And then we'll go ahead and uh, get Hades, this ability up. Like I said, Rot 
don't even bother with. It's not as good as the Skeletons, and Requiem's actually a really great ability. Requiem is definitely something. It's actually a new event, too. I'm not going to bother playing that, because that's just going to really spur the leveling up and get it out of control. What I could do, and I kind of want to expand a little bit more before doing this, is probably, like, get a couple more defenses. The best defenses, in my opinion, are the Fire Towers, and then get the Electo Environmental Boost. Unfortunately, I don't really have the, uh, the Ambrosia to get any Environment Boosts. I believe it's 96,000, and at that point I'd probably just get an Environment Boost for my main base. Or for, for my Olympus base, because this isn't my main account. I don't really know what we should do. I'm tempted to buy a couple defenses, but I don't really know which ones are that good at this level. I kind of just want the fire towers, because the fire towers are really good, and I'll probably just pair them with a couple ballistas for now. And then maybe start working on getting a couple more of these temples, because they're all only 5,000, but that price will go up a lot. So let's just hop into more battles here. I tried playing the limited challenge. It's just honestly kind of terrible <laughs> so we're not gonna play that anymore okay so grow fireball right there bang we even took out a temple with that this guy made the mistake of putting all his temples on one side which is really not something you should do because even if you get a decent amount of damage through it's really easy to take out the temples i'm just gonna do that and then we'll grow and just easily take out oh boom so that's why Electo, especially early on, is so good. Ooh, got a couple rewards here. You don't need to bother with this Fire Sword ability. It's really, it's, it's all right, but it's really not as good as the Fireball. All you really want to do is use Grow and use the Fireball. So Persephone, yeah, obviously both those abilities at 5-5, five, five, and then... How is this per how are you at 10? Didn't you be at 12? Do the health... I don't know if the health and strength starting ability count. What we could actually do is we could, like, upgrade a little bit. But I kind of want to just get to level 10 so I can get fire towers. Then maybe that will happen in the next video. I don't actually know. Obviously, if you guys like to see the Gods of Olympus gameplay, just let me know. And I'll make sure to, I'll make sure to try playing it a bit more. I was looking through some of my uh, my older videos, and apparently the Gods of Olympus stuff always does, like, really well. So if people do like to see it, I'll definitely continue playing it. I honestly love this game. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of like Clash of Clans with a different twist on it, which I just find to be really enjoyable. Yeah, we won't beat around the bush here. This should be nice and easy. Nice and easy takeout right here. But obviously, we're not really going to have any troubles with these earlier bases. On my main account, I actually got Magira before Electo, which was kind of a mistake. Magira's fine, but not... Oh, there we go, level 8. Magira's fine, but just not really amazing. Like, neither of their abilities are super helpful. They're kind of weak, and although they do have good range, they just don't really do that much besides, like, crowd control. Yeah, and then this guy just puts all three of his on one side again. Boy, you can't be wasting all your resources on expanding the base. You gotta be... You gotta be using those to, you know, make them, make them upgrades, boy. Yeah, we just took out two temples with one fireball. So if that doesn't show you how good this strategy is, I don't know what will. <laughs> this is only a level 5 ability, too. This isn't anything serious. It's not super good right now. So you can only imagine that once you get those abilities, that grow ability, that fireball ability to be super high level, it's just going to be OP. I've kind of been talking a little bit about what I think the uh, the best underworld gods are, and I'll probably do a similar video with the, with the Olympus based gods, just because I don't have a lot of experience with Hecate. I think they're fine. They kind of just seem like a worse Hades. Uh, Magira is okay. Definitely should make it one of the later gods. Electo and Tisiphone. Uh, very strong. Should get both of those pretty quickly. Hades and Persephone obviously should be like your one and two gods because they're just that good. Hades you obviously start with. Charon. Very good. Try to get him pretty early too. Cerberus. Eh. 
I'm probably going to make him my last one because he's not really amazing. As far as abilities go, recover and grow are very good. You should just kind of upgrade. I'm going to probably upgrade them both about evenly. That might not be the best strategy, but that's what I'll do. Don't bother getting rot. Oh, actually, some of these suckers. Mm -hmm. I would think maybe upgrade both of his abilities about evenly. Phase and Howl, but don't get Cerberus, like, at all. Uh, Charon, definitely focus more into Madness over the Shades, because the Shades are just slow and weak. There's not really any point. Uh, we went over those. Don't bother with Rot. Similar to... Electo, don't put anything into Ice Blades. Just go all freeze. That's the only ability that's really that good. Except in some of the events, the Ice Blades can be good with boosted strength. But I just don't really see the point of them. Magera, you can kind of do either of these. Drain is good. Poison is pretty good. I just don't find the god to be that good. And then Hecate, I don't really know. I haven't really seen a whole lot i like the soul torch ability because it makes her damage go up a ton but making the archers can also be pretty helpful so i'm actually not really sure i'm kind of split on this one but anyways enough rambling let's get into more attacks and then as for bases i would say the electo environmental to boost fire towers is actually really strong it's kind of uh this guy's put a decent amount of defenses on this side so let's kind of just work from this side and go inwards. I should have upgraded like the strength or something because I just didn't do that. Strength and health I need to. Okay, so we'll whip this up. Throw uh, fireball over here. We'll make sure to heal because our dudes are kind of taking a little bit of damage. Just, we could probably just go right for the, uh, right for the temples if we wanted to, but Eh, you don't want anybody to die. Okay, so as soon as we get another fireball, we'll actually grow. I'm gonna fireball right there, and that should basically take out everything. Now we'll just go for the temple. Boom, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Perfect, okay. We're still not getting, like, any loot from this, which is highly unfortunate. But we've also just started playing. We're not even at a thousand trophies yet. What are some of these things? Reanimate 500 skeletons. I don't use rot, so we'll cycle that one out. I don't use fire swords, so we'll cycle that one out. Also, 1.6 million damage at this stage in the game is a lot. Okay, so how much... Let's try to get your strength up, I guess. 41,000 to get to level 5. Alright, very well then. I kind of want to try playing this. I did, and then I just quit because I hate the glass cannons challenges. Not even going to lie to you, they're just absolutely terrible. I wanted to hopefully get to level 10, but this video's kind of been going on for a little while, so I'm just going to go ahead, try to finish this uh, this battle up, and then we'll call it an episode. It's been a minute since we popped on that Gods of Olympus, so you know that your boy had to whip it out. Well, dang, that fireball did nothing. This guy's got some higher level defenses, it looks like. Oh, yeah, see... This is a scenario where I'm actually going to try using the fire blades, mostly just for crowd control. <laughs> actually, let's take out the ballista first. Because this guy's defenses were a little bit higher leveled, so I really didn't think that the fireball was going to kill anything. We'll just kind of launch this between those suckers over there. And easy peasy. Alright, so like I said, Persephone, Electo, Hades, Charon, and Tisiphone, in my opinion, are the five best, and I think there's only, I think there's actually eight by now. After that, I would probably get either Hecate or Megara. I might be saying that wrong, Megara, but probably one of those two, because they're also pretty decent, I think. I would probably get Cerberus last, because there's not really a whole lot you can do with him, but Oh, hello, Conqueror. Oh, real quick before we end this, I just wanted to real quick say that I do have an alliance if any of you guys want to hop in here. I've been a lot more active on this game lately, and two days ago, I actually just did a mass clear out of the alliance. Also, real quick shout out to Asriel saying, can't wait for new new episodes, and my man Odran said that he liked the vids as well. So shout out you too if you're watching this, but... 
yeah, feel free to join. It's Flying Dutchman's crew. This is, uh, you know, I think uh, I've got Poseidon as the main, the main lad right now. Not super great, but anyways. Other than that, let's just claim these achievements. I just want to thank you all for watching. Let me know if you want to see more Gods Olympus. And feel free to stop by the Alliance and just say hello. But other than that, I just want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.